Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. I'd like to welcome to Monday, welcome you to Monday, April 15th, on our Seeds of Destiny today. We're looking at the topic, your mind, your gateway to your future. The Bible says, now therefore, let Pharaoh look out for a man, discreet and wise, and set him over the land of Egypt. Let Pharaoh do this, and let him appoint officers over the land, and take up the fifth part of the land of Egypt in seven plenteous years. Genesis 41, 33 to 34, thought for the day. Your gift may make you see some measures of result, but it takes your mind to arrive at your future. While Joseph was in prison, he was interpreting other people's dreams. Then Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, had a troubling dream. The chief butler, whose dream he had once interpreted, told Pharaoh about Joseph, and Joseph sent for and Pharaoh sent for Joseph. Now Joseph came before Pharaoh and Pharaoh asked him a question. He said, I had a dream, a dream. I have dreamt a dream. Can you interpret it for me? And Joseph told him that he could interpret his dream. Thus Joseph interpreted Pharaoh's dream and also gave the solution to the dream. Now, if Joseph had stopped at interpreting the dream, Pharaoh would have probably appreciated him and said, thank you, Joseph, please take this gift and go back to the prison. But Joseph did not only interpret the dream, he gave the solution to the dream. Thus, by his gifting as a dream interpreter, he gave interpretation, but with his mind, he gave the solution. This gift brought him out of prison, but that gift did not keep him out of prison. It was his mind that kept him out. By interpreting the dream, he went a further mile and, uh, and gave Pharaoh a wise solution to what to do in order to bring Egypt out of the situation, to bring Egypt because to, to, it, what it was that was needed to make Egypt to gather food in the first seven years of abundance and against the seven years of famine that was coming. That is Genesis 41, 33 to 37, paraphrased. So Joseph was describing himself to Pharaoh, literally, virtually. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, why are you prescribing another person to me? You are the person. You that know what to do, who better? That's how Joseph was appointed by Pharaoh to do the job. The truth is, your gift may make you see some measure of results, but it takes your mind to arrive at your future. You need a correct mentality to be ushered into your correct destiny. If you must fulfill your destiny, you must use your mind positively. You must use your mind productively and you must use your mind creatively. Remember this, your gift may make you see some results, but it takes your mind to arrive at your future. What's our assignment today? Number one, by all means, refuse to live with a blank mind. Number two, develop your mind and make it a center of solution for your generation and make your world blessed by it. Let's pray. Say, Father, pour me out an anointing of supernatural wisdom for my mind so that my mind can be the center of solutions for my generation. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, praise the Lord. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Have yourself a wonderful day today. And let me pray for you. You want to make Jesus the Lord of your life? Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I'll live to please you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Happy birthday to you. It's your birthday today. I wish you a happy birthday. As your day, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.